Okay, welcome back. We're just going to talk about signal taps today. Uh, go through a short tutorial here. We'll try to keep this brief. Um, the thing with signal taps, well, first off, to register a signal tap, you do so by double tapping on the screen and the location in which you're standing. So the idea behind that would be uh, if you are walking throughout your facility, you're going to take taps along the way until you cover all the area either in your facility or at least the area in which you want to look at the wireless networks. Um, the amount of taps that you take has a direct impact on the quality of the heat maps, edge maps, uh, channel maps, that kind of thing. Uh, since we rely solely on the taps that you take to generate these maps, uh, we can only just play overlays in areas in which you register taps. So by that what I mean, if you was to be taking taps along the way and you go into this room here and you just take a tap in the middle of the room and then go into the next room, take a tap, the next room, take a tap, uh, when the heat map draws out, it's just going to be outlining the areas in which the taps are taken and then try to, you know, the logic in the background will try to factor in what the wireless signal strength looks like in between the taps. It will never go beyond the perimeter of the apps that, or the taps that you set. So if you want your overlays to cover a room good, like this one for example, you want to make sure you go to the corners of those rooms at a minimum and take taps. So just to give you an example of what I'm talking about here, if you was to walk through your facility, Taking taps like this, maybe you get one up here, one down here, one over here, and one over here. Um, if you just turn on your heat map and look at it, you're going to see that you're not going to have a very good heat map. It's just not enough data input into the app at this point for the logic to do a good job. Um, also, keep in mind that I'm stationary. I'm not going anywhere here, so my signal strength taps are not varying, but, but very little. He was actually walking through your environment, you know, in real life. Then, you know, at least the colors would be changing here as you take taps. But you would still get a heat map that, that doesn't do a very good job for you. So, uh, to give you an example of something more along the lines of what you would actually want to do, if we started in this top left room, and you're walking around taking taps. I'm just kind of going quick, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, but if you was doing something more along these lines and you looked at your heat map, you can see how it's starting to, you know, still needs a lot more data, but you can see as far as the coverage of the overlay, how far it runs out, it's going to be relative to where your taps are taken. So if you're looking for a heat map that's going to cover your whole facility, you know, from border to border, obviously you're going to have a lot more colors, you know, overlaying yours than what I'm going to have standing here. But as far as coverage goes, if you're looking for that, you need to make sure that, you know, you hit your parameters as you go around the building in addition to getting taps, you know, along the way in the middle. Now, I get asked, you know, how many taps is enough? And to be honest, I mean, the, the simple answer is you take as many taps as you can. Uh, the real life answer is, that, you know, it depends. Um, on your environment. If you've got an office environment like this, uh, you know, you're talking about, you know, 10 or 12 rooms or something along those lines, and time allows you to do so, you could easily take 100, 150, 200 taps, you know, in an environment like this. Now, your tap density is going to be pretty close, and you're probably going to be able to get several taps in each room, that kind of thing. Now, on the other end of that spectrum, if, if your environment is a one and a half million square foot manufacturing facility, and you got 30 or 40 access points out there, it's not going to be practical for you to take a tap every 10 foot and try to cover that, that whole space. You know, it's just not going to happen. Uh, but you still won't have a lot of taps. So, you know, you may still be able to get by with 100 or 200 taps, and they're going to be spread out more and still get good information back in your heat map. Uh, the amount of taps you take is important, but the location of where you take those taps is important as well. So just keep in mind that whatever your environment looks like, you want to make sure that what you're looking for as far as an overlay goes and how far that overlay stretches out, you want to make sure you take taps on that perimeter or whatever it is you're looking for that you're wanting to see. Uh, that's really important because the maps can only draw out as far out as what the taps are. Uh, same is true if you're wanting to see what your coverage looks like outside the perimeter of your building, you're going to have to, make, you're going to, have to go outside and take some taps for that overlay to bleed out. Uh, otherwise, you know, the, the app itself has no way to know what that signal will look like. Um, I think I pretty much covered it for taps. 
Uh, like I said, just take as many caps as you can. That, that's the most important thing. Uh, and one other thing, just kind of as a side note, you know, if you're struggling with your maps and they're not drawn out the way that you, you expect them to, one thing you can do to kind of see how the logic runs in the background, if you go into your menu and you enable heat maps and leave your tap points on as well and apply that, what you can start to see if, as you play with the app a little bit and you start taking taps, you'll see the heat map redraw with every single tap and that logic runs again every time you take a tap. And so you can start to see how the map builds out and that'll give you a good idea of where you need to take taps at as you're going through your environment. And will help you be a little bit more efficient in taking your taps. And you know, this is probably more beneficial to the guys that have the really large environments, you know, like the manufacturing facilities and stuff that I've talked about. Uh, the guys that, you know, or when you're out doing your smaller offices and stuff, it's a lot easier in those cases to just, just blanket a site in taps and you're going to be covered either way. But when you have to be a little bit more picky about what areas you go into or you know, to, to, to continue to use the manufacturing world as an example, in those sites there's a lot of places you can't even get to. I mean, you've got production lines, you've got pallets of goods stored to the ceiling. You know, there's a lot of things going on in those environments where you can't physically walk and take those taps. So you have to try to get around them, you know, or get as close to those areas as you can. So if you play around with the app a little bit in this mode and kind of get an idea how the maps grow out, I think it should help you know where you need to try to get to and how close you need to get to some of these areas and how many taps you need to take as you are close to these areas. Try to get those maps to fill in uh, the way that you're looking for. Well, I think that about covers it for the taps. Um, if you have questions, feel free to email us. Uh, we monitor our email, we respond to email, and we also encourage user feedback. So please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.